Hey everybody, welcome to MPA 602 Policy Analysis and Program Evaluation. You know that this is an online accelerated class. It's going to move very quickly. Uh, we have eight weeks, eight units. Um, your work is going to be due on Sunday nights. In this class, we're going to be examining two methodologies that you will be encountering in your career in the field. Uh, we'll be doing uh, policy analysis and program evaluation, you may have guessed. Uh, there is indeed a textbook for this course, uh, so you'll be uh, asked to get your hands on uh, this book, uh, A Practical Guide to Policy Analysis uh, by Eugene Bardock and Eric Potashnik. Uh, this is a book that I have owned for many years. Um, I've, uh, this is how I learned to do policy analysis. Um, it is a, a not a long read, uh, and we'll be reading kind of excerpts of it as we go. Um, but I, I can promise you this is a book that you will get a lot of use out of and you will refer to uh, as you do these methodologies in the field uh, through your careers. Another book I'm going to highlight, I don't expect you to purchase, but we are going to be uh, using in this course uh, some excerpts from, uh, I will provide them for you, um, is this book Policy Paradox by Deborah Stone. Um, and this is a book that is really going to help us with the philosophical foundation of policy analysis. In the units, uh, there are individual lessons. Uh, many of those lessons are going to have videos uh, with them, short videos. Uh, not all of them will. As we go through this course, we'll be taking uh, each methodology in stages. So as we do kind of comparable parts of each, uh, we'll group them together and then we'll move on to kind of the, the later stages. So we'll be bouncing back and forth a little bit between them, uh, but there, there's a good reason for it. In each unit, I provide you with a template for the assignment itself. So you can actually download uh, the Word document, uh, fill in where you're asked to fill in, and then upload that same document. There are parts of it where you're going to be asked to copy and paste your responses from previous assignments into selected parts of the assignments that you're turning in. Uh, and I, I give lots of directions in the templates for how to do that. Um, and you're expected to make corrections to previous work as you go. So I'll be giving you lots of feedback uh, in Blackboard, um, and I'll be asking you to kind of make corrections to those items uh, as you move them into your, your new assignments, um, because this is an iterative process, right? We're going to probably make some mistakes, um, and I'm going to give you guidance on how to correct those mistakes, because what you'll find uh, is little mistakes made early on can have a ripple effect, um, and really impact your work later on. So uh, we do try to pay very close attention to the things that could catch us up uh, in the future. And of course, there's lots of guidance provided uh, in the units, but as always, you're encouraged to reach out to me if you have any questions, if you should need any kind of help, um, you can always reach me by email and I'll set an appointment with you. Uh, but I also have office hours on Wednesday nights from five to 6 p.m. Uh, via Zoom. So I look forward to working with you in this course and hope that you'll always feel free to reach out to me if I can ever be useful to you.